holy cow i didn't know i wanted these two mobile suits until i saw them <laughs> here today and this is of course the gundam Sisquiddy or Sisquiddy, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Well, here's the good news, right? These kits they look great, but they're not kits entirely, they're not plumo kits. These are actually G Frame Candy Toy series. And the bad news is not only are they candy toys, but they are also premium Bandai exclusive. And each one of these is gonna set you back 3,400 yen. So the price itself is not for both. So 3,400 yen is actually for one of the Gundam Sisquiddy G-Frame so you can choose either AEUG or Titan Colors now obviously you're probably thinking hey why are you talking about 3,400 yen is not that expensive but if you consider that you know this is a premium bandai exclusive for those of you who live in a country where there's no premium bandai you probably have to pay a little bit extra not only in terms of shipping but your proxy buyer fees as well so be prepared to shell out a lot more than 3,400 yen for each one of the Gundam Sisquide under the Gundam G-Frame series what about us well generally we do like the uh, Gundam G-Frame series but you know this being a premium bandai exclusive and as much as i like the color separation the articulation and the humongous beam rifle automatic machine gun whatever you want to call it with a big ass barrel we are probably going to skip this because of the price and we're just going to wait for the plumber kit which we are very sure bandai will be releasing one sooner or later in the future i have to say this guy looks great if you're collecting the g-frame series this is definitely a must-have yeah. so now a bit more interesting uh, news this will be the Gundam turn A and also the turn X master grade so there will be two special skin limited sorry nano skin limited edition that's going to be released sometime in May or August um, these guys are coming out at 12,420 yen as part of the seed made um, exhibition happening right now at Gundam Tokyo base they look great they have a metallic like finish and those nano type of particles you're seeing sticking around uh, the armor of the turn A and so the turn next, those are actually water decals that you should stick on. So it's not part of the armor. Now I'm a big fan of the Gundam Unicorn design and I've always been bummed that the cage itself was only available with that one particular packaging. So the good news is finally Banda is releasing the uh, Gundam Base Limited mobile suit cage as a separate unit so you can actually finally buy it now for only 2160 yen uh, of course you have to be in Gundam base to buy this unit because previously it was only available in this packaging that you're seeing here today uh, obviously it is the same cage that you have um, known and loved it is also meant for a one 100 skill master grade unicorn Gundam and it comes equipped with all the extras plus a little bit more of the four different characters or the main characters from the show as well so uh, the previous cage, in terms of functionality, you will still get a box to store your v fin your uh, beam rifle, and also the, the slots for you to hold the weapons and the armors in place at the back of the cage as well. So everything's in place and I think this is actually very good news. I was just kind of disappointed that this is not a regular release and again, it has to be a Gundam based exclusive. Well, so if you guys are actually going to Japan, make sure you get this one for yourself or for your friend. Well, isn't the box art sexy? And I have to agree, the upcoming Master Grade EXS or S Gundam looks fantastic. At 12,960 yen, this is a very expensive kit, obviously. And you're probably wondering, hey, what's new with this versus the old kit? So let us break it down for you, yeah? Um, first of all, in terms of the parts, they've remodeled some parts, the head, the chest, the backpack, and the shoulders, and also the hand. All five of these parts has been redesigned for the Gundam Master Grade EXS. The head, shoulder, chest, and backpack, those are new parts that they reused from the old Master Grade Deep Striker that was released uh, you know, sometime last year, I remember. So it's not entirely new, but they just rehashed some of the parts. Um, the changeable parts on the torso and the abdomen has also been reshaped slightly for the new EXS as well. So those are the new parts that you're getting. The new addition part for the EXS, that will be the three income, you know, the wire-like attachment for the bubble suit. So those are the three new uh, parts that you don't get from the old kit. You're getting it with this time around for this new EXS Gundam. 
Secondly, what else is new other than just you know uh, remodeling some parts and adding in the new three incomes uh, part as well? The colors looks a lot different from the older kit. I think the blue this time around that they've used for the EXS, it does look a lot more subdued compared to the bright blue that you've gotten from the older EXS or the S Gundam kit because those were two separate different kits and this time around, the colors definitely look, in my opinion, it definitely looks hell of a lot better. Now, um, in terms of should you actually buy this and you know, if you plan to Keep changing it from the uh, EXS or the S model. I suppose that really depends, right? If you have the patience and the time to actually muck around with it, and so maybe transform to the G Cruiser or you know the other uh, form, it might be worthwhile to actually buy two of this. I know it's a bit expensive, but if you think that hey, I might want to have a G Attacker or G Core or G Bomber version in addition to having the standalone mobile suit and as you know this kit you know when you build this kit there is pretty much <laughs> zero articulation you really can't move this kit around i think most of the exs especially the older one that we have seen you know people just built it and it's just sitting there on the usual sta stadium standing pole so it's quite boring in a way yeah so if you can afford it i would recommend getting two of these guys i know it's a little bit pricey at close to 13,000 yen but at least you have one cool mobile suit mode and also one which is the, um, you know, uh, what you call it, the G Attacker, G Bomber or also finally they have the uh, G Cruiser mode. I kind of like the G Cruiser mode, it looks very nice as well. So that's our video for today, you know, there's a lot, plenty of new kits coming out uh, in the month of May and April. Of course, as I've mentioned earlier, the biggest surprise to me was the Gundam Siskuri. Looks awesome. Unfortunately, those are candy toys and premium binder exclusive 3,400 yen excluding your proxy and shipping fees is probably going to run up to somewhat like 500 yen So 500 yen for candy toys is not my cup of tea so I'm probably skipping that and wait for the actual premium, uh, sorry, Gunpla kit from Bandai And of course, if any one of you are actually going to Japan and manage to get into Gundam based Japan, hey Help us get a mobile suit cage if you can. I really wanted that cage for my uh, Master Grade Unicorn as well. So that's our video for today. Um, don't forget to join our SD Gunner World Contest where we're actually giving out three of the kits. So no matter which part of the world you are, just follow the instructions in the video. And who knows, you might stand a chance to actually win the Sangoku Soccer Student giveaway that we're actually doing right now. You actually win three of the kits from Sangoku Soccer Student. So no matter where you are in the world, just follow the instructions in the video and we will ship it to you no matter where you're from. So good luck guys. I think right now there are not many entries yet. So your chance of winning is really, really very high. So good luck to everyone.